Broncos at the Saints tonight. That's tonight. And look, I I wish the teams were a little better. I'm not as I I mean the Saints need to turn around this four game losing streak. They went from being the 1999 Rams to the 2024 Panthers pretty quickly. But oh. and, and and you don't have Derek Carr. You've got Spencer Rattler. But you do have this intrigue of Sean Payton coming back to town as a three point favorite with an over under of only 37. That's the lowest of any Tuesday night football game this week. And it's that low, even though offensive explosion has happened what dramatically since since about week four. What did I say? Since week, you said what did Tuesday, I say, bro? It's Tuesday. Sorry. That's the Thursday. one day of the year we don't have Thursday. football this year. Tuesday. Just ask the Chiefs. So, well, just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time yeah. before it's Tuesday. Tuesday, Thursday starts with a T. Close enough. Yeah, you know who we mean. All right. Anyway, uh, Derek Carr is officially doubtful tonight. He's not going to play. It's going to be Spencer Rattler. I'm surprised they even put him as doubtful. No Chris Olave. No Rashid Shaheed. Yeah. The Saints got issues. And, you know, the Broncos had won three in a row. They, they were down 20 to nothing before they woke up against the Chargers on Sunday. I, I just, this, this, this feels like, you know, Sean Payton's coming home. And Sean Payton knows... A lot of the weaknesses and strengths and pros and cons and ins and outs of a lot of that roster. I'm surprised it's only three points when you consider that Derek Carr most likely isn't going to play. And you look at all those names, key players, Olave, Shahid, Taysom Hill, Cesar Ruiz, Lucas Patrick, all in either out or, and the only one who I think has any chance at all of playing on that list is Patrick. Yeah, it's true. I mean, the, the Saints offense is just decimated by injuries. When you're talking about your top two receivers in Shahid and Alave are not going to play for your rookie quarterback, who's not even a first round rookie quarterback. I mean, Spencer Rattler, he did some all right things last week against the Bucks, But I mean, your real weapon now on offense is Alvin Kamara and nobody else. Like That is a really, really, really tough task. For a young guy in Spencer Rattler to then go make your second start on a short week against an opponent like a Sean Payton and a Vance Joseph, a defensive coordinator who can do some things to, you know, let's say confuse the rookie quarterback. But that's what it is right there to show you on the graphic, right? Shahid is leading the team with his receiving yards. You got Alave, who also has 23 catches for 280. And then it's, uh oh, everybody else, right? Bub means. It's a rookie. He's got five for 45. He has the most receiving yards among anybody else in the receiving room that's not Shahid Nalave. That's a problem. So I, I I feel for Clint Kubiak this week um, because that is not easy to scheme for a Vance Joseph defense when, I mean, you've got an arm and a half basically tied behind your back. And you mentioned Kamara, and I had a little bit of a synapse, neuron, whatever the proper term is, fire in my brain. Right now, the Saints are 2-4. and four. They lose tonight. They could win, but let's say they lose. Just bear with me. 2-5. and five. They got at the Chargers next Sunday. They lose that one, 2-6. and six. Panthers week 9, even if they win, they're 3-6. and six. If they lose, it's 2-7, and seven, and two days later is the trade deadline. Alvin Kamara is in a contract that will not – be honored next year they're going to tear it up and they're going to move on from Alvin Kamara after this season as we start looking at potential trade opportunities they keep losing Kamara might be available before the end of the trade period the Tuesday after week nine it's just something to keep an eye on because yeah. now that we have that extra week it's a little more time for a team to realize a fork has been stuck in it the Browns, your Browns have already come to that conclusion. That's the irony, and I think I'm using the word properly for a change. The Browns are the ones who proposed delaying the trade deadline, and they're the first team to admit it's over, and it's only six weeks into the season. But I think the Saints might be there. And these final weeks of the period before the trade deadline are critical because you come to that conclusion that you either are or aren't in sell mode. My point is there's a chance the Saints could be in sell mode and Kamara is the most obvious guy to sell. You get the best return, and he's not going to be there next year under his current contract anyway. Yeah, it's true. And Kamara's still a really productive player. I mean, and you know, I mean, speaking of the matchup tonight, who knows how to use Alvin Kamara better than Sean Payton? 
right? So he has, I think, a great idea of the kinds of things that Kamara can do and how are we going to be able to stop that? He tells that to Vance Joseph. They implement that. I mean, this is this is a game that the Broncos really should win just based on all of the personnel that's missing for the New Orleans Saints. But yeah, I mean, you, you look at that Saints team and the way they started the season, you're kind of like, man, maybe, maybe they got something, you know, maybe they really figured something out. The Derek Carr injury obviously does not help. You know, if Olave has got to be out for any long stretch of time, Shahid might be out for the rest of the season. That's a huge speed element for them on offense. He can take the top off the defense. Like, man, if, if those guys can't play, then you really are a little bit up a creek here with the New Orleans Saints in their season. Pete with a deep pull. Dennis Allen was the Broncos defensive coordinator back in 2011. So there's a little familiarity from way back there too. And Dennis Allen, frankly, he's got to start worrying. How long does Sean Payton's replacement go before he gets replaced? It looked great through two weeks, but now it's falling apart. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.